Good morning, Red Mountain. I'm Robert, and here are your announcements today for Thursday, January 12, 2023. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Professional Friday career events begin this week during advisory. Each week we'll have professionals from various career fields on campus to share their experience and expertise with students. The first event is for students interested in construction. Join us during advisory on Friday, January 13th to learn more about construction careers in Arizona. Guests from Build Your Future Arizona will be here to share information about careers, internships, and training programs. Then, Friday, January 20th, we will be hosting an industry fair for students interested in education, training, and human services. We have over 15 industry professionals joining us to share their expertise with students. For more information, you can reach out to Ms. Frizee, the CTE career coach, at, their, at her email. Girls Beach Volleyball is hosting a 4 versus 4 sand volleyball tournament. Any RMHS student is eligible to play and entry is $40 for each team. Entry is all online and through Google Forms. Please join Coach Head Jason Trower's girls who participate in the Girls Beach program and are student for some volleyball fun on February 4th at 9 a.m. Thank you for your support. The National Honor Society is hosting our annual Winter Dance on January 28th from 7 to 10 p.m. The theme is Winter in the City. Tickets are now on sale now until January 28th in the bookstore and online. The tickets are $35 in the bookstore and $30 in GoFans. We hope to see you there. Now into your weather. What's up, Red Mountain? It's your boy, back with the weather. I'm Michael Anaya. Let's do this. It's about to be mostly cloudy, with a only 1% chance of rain. Wind coming from the northeast at 10 miles per hour, humidity at 33%, and UV index of 3. And for your five-day forecast, today's high will be 71 with a low of 47. For the rest of your week, highs will be in the 70s and dip down to the 60s and all the way down to the 50s. And your lows will be in the 40s, 50s, and back down to 40s. That'll be all for your weather today. Have a great day, Red Mountain. Good morning, Red Mountain. I'm John, and today we have sports. Boys soccer versus Dobson at Dobson High School. Freshman sophomores will start at 4 p.m. and JV at 5.30 p.m. and varsity at 7 p.m. Girls soccer versus Dobson at Red Mountain High School. Freshman sophomores start at 4, 4 p.m. Uh, JV 5.30 p.m. and varsity 7 p.m. Boys soccer versus Corona del Sol at Corona del Sol High School. JV at 4 p.m. and varsity at 7 p.m. Girls Soccer versus Corona del Sol at Red Mountain High School, JV at 4 p.m. and Varsity at 7 p.m. That's it for your sports and on to the rest of your announcements. Do you want to learn about the field of video production? Join RMTV. We record announcements, live stream events like sports and art, while still holding a professional environment. Join GV20 today. My name is Julian Gordon, um, and the thing about the challenge in AP classes that interested me was it really helped push um, the boundaries of what I was comfortable with, like doing. So I, I didn't like presenting a lot when I first came into high school, and a lot of AP courses had big presentation aspects, like especially AP seminar, and that really helped my presentation skills. So AP classes provide a lot of value for me in high school. Um, I say one of the base one is I spoke earlier about presentations and it really helped 
um, in other classes. So like once I did AP seminar, presentations in other classes, very easy. Um, it helped teach me guidelines of what to do. Um, that was very transferable between all of the other classes I was taking. So once I took a class in a subject, it was like easy. So once I took Lang, essays, easy. So I am a biology major and I actually see a lot of benefit in college from all of the AP classes I've taken. Um, I took AP Bio and AP Chem uh, in high school and those really helped in my introduction uh, STEM classes. Like my, my Chem intro class was very easy for me because it was just a whole bunch of things I took in AP Chem that was just like rehashing and going over again this time at college level. If you are interested in playing on the girls' tennis team, please meet us on the tennis courts on Thursday, January 12th. We'll start practicing during 8th hour, but if you don't have an 8th hour, please join us after school on Thursday. If you can't make it out on Thursday, please stop by and see Coach Benza in room 282 sometime before Thursday. Boys Volleyball Open Gyms will be open every Tuesday and Thursday from 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Tryouts will begin on February 6th. See Coach Hutter in room 267 for questions. Are you interested in different cultures? Do you like sampling foods from various ethnic cuisines? Do you enjoy learning about cultural holidays, traditions, mythology, and customs? Do you dream of international travel? If so, the Cultural Ambassadors Club is the club for you. Club meetings are every Thursday from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. in Ms. Kropatin's room, 242. See you there. RMHS Astronomy Club meet every Thursday after school from 3.15 to 4 in room 159. Club diversity meets tomorrow during both lunches. Fifth lunch meets at 11.50, sixth lunch meets at 12.45. Meetings are held every other Friday in room 252. Come and learn about how to make a difference in your community and how all your hard work can pay off with a trip to Disneyland. Those are your announcements today for Thursday, January 12, 2023. Have a good day, Red Mountain.